Welcome back to our channel. Um, this is Finding Our Spot, and today we're going to talk about uh, the lovely flex steel furniture uh, that we have in our RV, mainly the captain chairs. Well, let's just say there's some minor peeling some instances more so than others. I'll we'll turn the chair around so you can see the the peeling that is starting to come up front end of the the chair um, the back and it's just not in our budget right now to replace the captain chairs um, or even a couch which is also another minor eyesore. So we're going to cover up the chairs with a uh, product from Covercraft. We'll get this off of Amazon. Um, it comes with these nice, let me make sure, here we go. It comes with these nice, which we thought were going to be a lot darker or lighter actually, these seat covers. Um, I got it upside down. They're seat gloves. And I think they, they'll, they'll do a little bit for us um, to cover up the eyesore and help us get a little bit more wear out of the chairs until we get around to potentially replacing them all together. So I'm going to show you putting this on. All right, so seat glove. Um, it's made with moisture wicking fabric panels. Um, it's kind of a foamy product on the inside. So you kind of get an idea there. Um, it has breathability. The center's mesh, got a mesh inside. Um, it's got two straps on the back that go off. Well, I'll explain that in a little bit. Two straps in the back. And what I really like is these tuck-ins. They're they're like a, a rubbery, sticky kind of thing um, that will fit in the crevice of the seat. Um, some other products have a uh, um, a plastic thing which seems to come out a lot so this should do wonders all right they also come with two armrest covers they come with these little ease of getting on um, verdict's going to be out to see how long these last on the arms but i'm mostly needing the seat cover for the seat itself but we'll see how these go and of course everybody's favorite the directions pretty simple process all right so make sure i got this on the right side all right, so I'm going to turn this back around for a second because they say in the directions you want to put the top on first so you can wiggle it down a little bit. And it's probably recommended to put the arms down first. I'm going to pull this down. It's easier to put it from the back, put the back on first. You just slip it on and you just kind of shimmy it down a little bit just to make sure you got a good fit on the seat. Um, I like these because they, they still give you access to the pocket in the back. Um, and in a moment we'll see about the controls on the side. So I'm going to put this up for a second and I need to turn the seat oh, down to the right. So that's down. They get to tuck these things into the these little black rubber tucked in real good in there. That's a bit good. All right. I'll just pull these around the front. Not so bad. 
Still gives you access to the front controls in the, on the chair. And the back, the side controls are still accessible. And then, I'm gonna turn this back around this way. So we can get these together. All right, so the straps, just easy strap. They come even with these little strap uh, holster things so the strap's not just sitting by itself somewhere. This will tighten the top up first. I'll tuck that in that way just to give it a little bit more aesthetics. There's down for a second. All right. Now, some of the seat manufacturers, seat cover manufacturers, have straps that strap that you pull underneath and you hang and hook and do all kinds of weird stuff and wonky under there. But uh, this one, uh, not so much. It just, you can bring it up underneath a little bit. Um, I prefer probably not to on this. Um, you can bring it around the side or since this is a driver's seat, I'll do this a little bit different on this, this one, just to bring it up and around, just so I have a little bit more access to it. And just like that, it just pops right in. And I just need to, well, maybe I need to give myself a little bit of tension first. Up. All right. Tighten that up a little bit. <clears throat> Make sure it's not pinching any of the wires. So bad, way better than what it did look like. All right, and then these seat covers. Um, I'm gonna put the tag to the back, or armrest covers rather. These armrest covers aren't exactly the same size of the armrest, um, but we'll make them do. Okay, so we have bought two pair at the same time through Amazon. They are exactly the same. The biggest difference in the chair uh, covers um, are the armrests. Um, as you see with the one we're putting on right now has the Velcro. Um, the original version, same size armrest, except there's no Velcro. It's more of a stretchy fabric. Um, and a little bit more of a pain to put on, but as you see, we did already on the co-pilot chair. Um, we have it on and it's gripped on there pretty tight. These ones, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to like them too much. They're a little, a little bit of a pain to put on. Um, is you want to try to get it looking nice and you got to stretch it out and try to get the the velcro to to to, to grip um and as you see it's not exactly 
pleasing, I guess to say, as far as the side. But I'm not going to be looking at it. Um, it's just going to be resting my arm. Flex steel couch, pull out bed with peeling fabric. This is what we did with our couch. Since they don't really make a big couch cover that fits on here, we have a another Amazon purchase with a reversible reversible cover. We turn our cushions the other way because for this reason it's just all just flaking and fading. So this is a 2011 Newmar Canyon Star. Um, I'll say that you know with was it been 20 uh, 10 years or so since this was probably put in uh, as original. Um, this is pretty bad. Um, there's probably some other people out there that have this normal wear and tear on theirs and way newer, which I feel bad for them. But we just turn it around, cover up the eyesore, flip on this machine washable uh, cover. So um, we'll have this on until we get the time to be able to replace the couch. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not, and comment below if you have any questions, and see you next time. Bye.